Hello and welcome to this session. So this is our first session with Arduino experiments and in this session we will see uh, lighting tricolor LED and blinking it alternatively. It's, it's quite similar to what we did in past blinking pin number 13 but now we have three colors to control. So tricolor LEDs are easily available in market and they are very affordable too. So here we have a common cathode tricolor LED you can see it here and common cathode means a ground a cathode means a negative terminal is common to these three pins red blue and green and we'll come back to this circuit before that let us see what a tricolor LED actually looks like so here we have this tricolor LED on my mini breadboard and at the right hand side you can see we have a digital multimeter so I hope you you have seen a digital multimeter before if not so we have this knob and here we have DC voltage which can measure from 1000 volts to sorry 200 millivolts to 1000 volts similarly we have AC voltage and the bottom we have resistance measurement from 200 ohms to 2000 kilo ohms similarly you can measure NPN and PNP transistor not measure you can uh, check whether they are correct or not um, we have some signal analysis and uh, there is a dedicated line for 10 ampere input here okay so what we are interested in is pin number not pin number this pin so let me turn the knob okay let me realign it a bit so you can see this arrow is pointing to uh, this diode symbol and a speaker symbol so this means uh, the output will beep if the circuit is closed or you can measure a diode measurement so diode a kind of electronic components which allow current to flow in only one direction so LEDs are diode light emitting diode of course and here in this mode we can check the uh, correctness of our tricolor LED so what I will do is I will take the probes red and black probe and connect to this tricolor LED and verify whether it's correct whether it's working or not so I usually do check my devices my components before putting them on breadboard actually using them on breadboard so I am taking my probes and I know the cathode is the second one from left so I will put my probe in cat with cathode and yes so this rightmost pin is of course green next to it is blue and this must be red fine so our LED is working fine so you might have noticed there was no uh, change in our display display means uh, multimeter display uh, for uh, some other reason because the tricolor LED doesn't give uh, any resistance value so it still shows open but due to the uh, voltage difference in my probes red and black probe the LED glow anyway so we have tested our LED so we'll move further and try to complete the circuit on our actual breadboard then we will write our program so before we move further so what should be our thought process so what I usually do is I I construct the circuit in a paper on a paper then mostly it's not mandatory people have different ways of during the problem I usually do it on paper then I do a schematic maybe on Fritzing 
so fritzing is an excellent open source uh, pcb design tool it also gives you a breadboard view which i'm showing you right away so this circuit is designed in fritzing so this circuit is very very simple it's very trivial what we have done is we have taken this tricolor led and because the tricolor led doesn't work with work on 5 volts which our arduino board gives so all our arduino ports uh, digital ios these these all pins they emit 5 volts for high and 0 volts for low so that doesn't that that probably will blow up our tricolor led so we have to connect some registers which will drop some voltage across them and the remaining voltage will be fed to uh, tricolor led so these registers could be some 100 ohms to 270 ohms or 330 ohms so i have used here 100 ohms so you may go up to 330 ohms and you may try so that's totally up to you so just remember this circuit is very simple uh, cathode is marked as black it goes to ground um, three anodes we have three anodes for three colors and all colors are marked uh, respectively which goes to pin number 10 11 and 12 so we have to program this circuit and for that uh, we have to invoke our arduino ide so let's come to the ide so you know this uh, arduino in any Arduino program you have to take two functions at least one is voice setup and next is void loop so as you know all microcontroller based programs they mostly run indefinitely so void loop take case of that indefinite while loop and void setup is one time setup you have to set up the pin which pin you want to make it uh, output which pin you want to make input that's all goes into setup and there are some advanced uses of setup which you will see eventually so for this uh, program let us get back to our circuit we know that pin 10 11 and 12 they are um, blue green and red so in the void setup so what i will write is uh, pin mode pin number 10 output and let me give a small comment to help me later so pin number 10 we can see is blue so i can say blue led similarly pin mode 11 goes again configured as output and which is pin 11 is green and let me copy this line and paste it and change 11 to 12 red LED so we have configured our pins now comes to come to void loop you might have already guessed and maybe programmed by yourself by, by this time it's very very simple all you have to do is repeat your previous program where we did digital write pin 13 high and then some delay then pin 13 low some delay which goes into void loop which repeats indefinitely for our blink led program the same thing goes here but a uh, bit different because you have to uh, instead of one LED you have to give it for three that's it so let me quickly write the program digital write high delay so let me give 500 so this means uh, 0.5 seconds of delay okay so similarly this will go let me copy these two lines So instead of high it should be low so this these four lines will take care of first blink which is of pin number 10 pin number 10 is blue we know that let me write it here also blue 
and instead of writing 10 11 12 we could have assigned them in a variable so that we will do from next experiments onward okay fine so let me copy these four lines and simply paste it instead of blue um, is it's green now and 10 is 11 in paste red 12 and 12 I think that's it did we missed anything uh, I don't think so so let me save this program okay done so it's very simple uh, void setup setting up three pins 10 11 and 12 you can see here pin number 10 11 and 12 are ready they are connected to they are connected to rgb led and this microcontroller is programmed will be programmed to send uh, alternate signals on 10 11 and 12 which will make them high low high low high low and eventually the LED will become high low high low and high low fine so let me construct the circuit let's come to the live video and let me construct it very quickly so let me connect the 100 ohm registers one by one So I have connected all my registers and this pin which is a, our common cathode is kept blank here and this we will connect it to ground. So that we will do shortly. Before that I want to connect the uh, microcontroller board which is which seems to be already connected and we want to dump this program we want to upload this program so just hit upload it says compiling sketch uploading and it's done and you can see the pin number 13 led is still glowing don't worry about it we have to see what is connected to pin number 10 11 and 12 so we will connect the wires we'll connect the jumper wires to pin 10 11 12 to our registers like we have seen it here so i have connected the ground wire already because uh, this mini breadboard these four lines are connected serially and similarly here this array of pins they are connected likewise so if I connect uh, here to here without this register there will be no connection that means uh, if I remove the ground wire and connect it here it won't work the reason is very clear because these uh, breadboards are connected till from these five pins and there is a separator in between here and then these five pins are connected serially all this is true with all the rows you can see or you can say columns fine so let us do the remaining connection so I've, connect, I've connected the green uh, 
I connected the blue and green wires respectively and here also I will connect them accordingly so let me remove the ground wire for a while so that we can see the all LEDs glowing at once means glowing according to our program is it correct yes so one more wire which is So red one goes here. So the moment I sh connect green, uh, ground, this circuit should work. Sorry. So. I don't know whether the exposure is incorrect so red blue and green so I have reduced my exposure camera exposure so probably now you can see this is red blue and green and that's all for this circuit it's very very simple it's only few lines of repetitive code nothing much to do no con uh, no conditionals no loops at all so see you in the next video